Hello folks, this is Brooks Brown again and, and uh, we're going to show you another quick thing in regards to our website which I think is important. Um, uh, if you go to our homepage, you look at technical information and go to safety guidelines. Um, utilizing or using ozone uh, and ozone shock treatment methods, uh, you've got to certainly follow some rules, you've got to respect the technology. Um, so but bottom line, again I just want to make sure everybody understands it is on our website and you need to pay attention to this. But basically, whenever, time, whenever you're using ozone in a shock treatment process, we want no people, pets, or plants. Um, do not allow your children to operate this unit. We only want adults uh, to do this. Um, it can be an irritant if you walk into that environment and perhaps one of the generators per, didn't shut off or one of the um, timers malfunctioned. Uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, go ahead and open up windows and whatnot, get the unit turned off vacate uh, the premises and let it air out. Um, the, the key thing is when you're treating that you want that, uh, that uh, timer to go off a minimum of two hours before you come back in the house uh, or into the building. Um, and if you want to air at three or four hours, you can do that as well. Um, basically, you know, some people are more sensitive to, to this than others. Those that have asthma or upper respiratory uh, issues are going to be more sensitive to it. Those that don't will be less sensitive, but um, one of the things we recommend as a result for added safety, you know, you really should try to wear a P95 mask. Here are two different examples of that. One is a more full mask. This is more of a dust mask, but be, both will serve the purpose. Um, uh, basically, also, I mean, just got to use your common sense about things. This, you don't want to operate this unit near water or any, any uh, flammable liquids or gases or objects like that. Uh, you know, keep them away for drapes, etc. because these things do spark, they create um, uh, electricity, and you just gotta use common sense about where you place these things. So, and one of the other notes, uh, it, it's, it is a green technology. Uh, ozone does convert back into clean, clean, clean breathable oxygen. Uh, so it is safe around food and electronics. It's actually used in the food industry. All bottled water today is uh, sanitized with, with ozone. But the one thing that, that if, if it has a tremendous amount of exposure to, uh, can damage, and that's natural rubber. Well, thank goodness today, very few things are made of natural rubber. But uh, to be safe, for example, if you had some uh, artwork and whatnot, maybe oil paintings and things, you may want to take those out of the, out of the uh, treatment area while, while we're... Uh, while you're treating, just just to be safe, um, and then basically what we have to do, or what you rec what we recommend you do is you want to enter or post signs at all the entries uh, to basically not enter. Uh, you know, you can give a phone number and a time when it would be safe to re-enter, but bot bottom line, you don't want people to come into that you know, into that environment when you've got a treatment process and in, in uh, uh, going on. So there you have it again, again on our website under technical information safety guidelines gives you a few tips on that pay attention to it it's, it is very important again we thank you for uh, the opportunity in your business if you ever have any questions on any other issues at all call us at 877-979-PURE which is 877-979-7873 uh, again our website's at www.sanusair.com s-a-n-u-s-a-e-r.com uh, Great talking to you this evening. Thank you very much. Brooks Brown, The Answer Purification, helping people live healthier lives.